Hi, my name is Jake Brockwitz, and this screencast is to help you get started building forums um, by adding elements, composites, and containers to your forums. I'm going to start off with a blank form. I'm going to just call it example. Let me hit save. And you'll see it starts off with the UI for adding elements to your form, and it's going to be blank. To start off, we'll start really with a very simple element. I'm going to just do a text field. Here it is. I'm going to hit add. And what's important is you don't, the web form module ships with what I'm going to call smart defaults, meaning you really just need to enter the title. You can scroll down, you can enter a default value. You can also control the display of the element. All these options you should gradually explore, add a placeholder. You know, I can even just show you this is a placeholder. You get an input mass. You can also control all the attributes around your element. You can control the wrapper, you can add classes to it, you can control the styles, you can even add custom attributes if you're doing very custom applications. Then you can also set up form validation required, so whether something's unique, you can set up patterns, word counts, this is for only text fields. And then we get into conditional logic. You should gradually explore these. I'm walking through these, but I'm not going to go into a lot of you. You can control how the value is displayed in an email. You can also control the access to the element. Moving on, there's administrative settings. And finally, you can also just add custom properties to the element. I'm going to hit save, and it adds the element. I'm going to hit view, and get a preview of the element. Now I'm going to move on and show you some other elements too. I'm going to hit add. I'm going to jump over to, let's do a select menu, and there's this select other element. I kind of want to show you how that works, so let's just say it's select other. Scroll down. You do want to enter options. You are required to enter options or you can select from a predefined list of options. And let's let's use um, ethnicity. I like that one. You can all the form API elements available and core available. We can set an empty option value. You do, do not have to enter that much. I'm going to do a select two element because it just kind of makes it nice look pretty. You can control how the actual other option looks. Right now I'm going to go with the text field and use the default placeholder. But you can set up field prefixes if you're capturing numbers, if like a donation form. You could say, well, what's the other amount you want to enter? And then you have all the other options. And by the way, this little widget here just lets you collapse all the detail elements, which can save a lot of time. I'm going to hit Save. Now I'm going to click View. And now we have a select, a select two element with other. If I scroll down, you'll see that's working. And now I'm even going to go on and do a much more advanced element, which is a toggle element, which let's just call it, I can do a search for toggle, advanced, say it's a toggle. That's really all we have to enter for toggles. You can't control the size and look and feel, but I'm going to hit save, hit view, and there's a toggle element. What's interesting about the toggle element, it's really just a checkbox, and I kind of want to illustrate another little quick feature, is you can change your element types, and it does you can really only change it to a checkbox because that's the only comparable element. It's a true false value. I can hit change, hit save, and now you'll see that it's converted to a checkbox and it's labeled toggle. Moving on to composites, which are another interesting option with your elements. I'm going to hit add element and I am going to do a address composite. I hit add and this is a different type. Composites are made up of sub elements. So you're going to see I got to give it a title. It's, it's going to prompt, and it also generates a machine name. And these are the defaults. And then you get control over all the sub elements contained and add placeholders. And you can actually hide and show. So if I don't want to let someone enter a second address, I can uncheck it. Um, I can also tweak what options are available for country and the type of it. You can set country codes. You can say whether it's a select other or plain text field. And I'm going to hit save. And now you're going to get to see this composite element being added. Now, moving on to containers, which is another, it's a way to organize your elements. I'm going to hit add element. I like details a lot, so I'm going to add a details container. Um, I don't know. Your information. Save. And now you can go and take this details element and place your elements within it. hit save and view it and you get a grouping oh and I didn't open it that is something you probably have to do for all your details widgets is open them by default that's just default behavior in core if we go look at it we'll see where it is form display it's 
display open. And now it's open. Now, what I also want to show is, so to do multi-column layouts, you need to use Flexbox. And it, actually, because Flexbox is a container and Details is a container, I can click Edit. And I can go in here and change this, and change it to a Flexbox layout. And I'm just going to use the default. I'm going to hit Save. And what you're going to see happen, this column appears, and it basically shows you the ratio. So all three of these elements will be laid out in a three-column grid, and they'll have the equal widths. And the address field will do something very interesting. So look, you get three columns. This behavior is a little awkward. We don't have a title here. This is stuff we can adjust, or you can file a ticket. You actually have the ability to edit the CSS around here, so you can actually add 20 pixels above this toggle checkbox. And the address composite element picked up that you're using a Flexbox grid and laid itself out using Flexbox automatically. You do have control over this. You can turn it off. You can even go and theme the order of these elements within the composite. I hope this gets you started with how to get the most out of your elements. And thank you for your time.